Hello friends, here I am with an amazing healthy and tasty option, stuffed bitter gourd with less oil. This will be an awesome side dish for rice alone, or you can enjoy with dal, millets, etc. As you know, bitter gourd is super food for diabetic people and also beneficial for everyone. Usually, bitter gourd is not everyone's favorite, but this recipe will definitely change your mind. Let's get started. I'm not going to peel the spikes, nor squeeze out the bitterness. Instead, we'll beat its bitterness by simple ingredients. This recipe is good enough for 4 bitter gourds. First wash the bitter gourds well. Then discard the water. So here is my secret to fry with less oil. I am going to steam the bitter gourds first. You can do either in idli cooker or instant pot. If you want to steam in idli cooker, add 1 and half cup water. Keep empty plates. Place bitter gourds on top plate. Or place a trivet and keep bitter gourds bowl on top. Or you can use a bowl as trivet to elevate height. Close the lid. Cook for 10 minutes and rest it for 5 minutes. Let's see steaming in instant pot. Add 1 cup water in inner pot. Place the rack. Then keep bitter gourds bowl. Or you can cook along with rice at bottom by stacking with lid and gourds bowl on top. Close the lid to ceiling. Pressure cook high for 5 minutes. No need of keep warm. Wait for natural release. In the meantime, let's prepare stuffing mix. In a bowl, add 1 1.5 tablespoon dry roasted peanut powder and 1 1.5 tablespoon dry roasted sesame seeds powder. These powders help to beat the bitterness and enhance more flavor. Add half a teaspoon coriander powder, half a teaspoon salt, half a teaspoon chili powder. Mix all once. Then squeeze half lime. If you notice, chili powder and lime juice balance the bitterness well. Now add little water to dilute. As you see, the stuffing mix is ready. Let's check the steamed bitter guards. After natural release, you can see bitter guards get steamed perfect. Rice also gets cooked well at the same time. It's such a big time saver. If you want, you can use this steamed water in juices, curries, or for this recipe. Let the bitter guards cool down for a while. Make a vertical slit on bitter guards. Take the seeds out. If you notice this way with steaming, the thick outer skin gets softer and can fry well with less oil. No need of lots of oil. To stuff and flatten easily, cut one more time. Stuff in the mix gently. As you see, stuffed guards are ready to fry. Add 1 and half teaspoon oil in hot pan. Or you can add little more if you feel it's less. Keep stuffing facing down. Fry on medium flame for around 5 minutes. Flip gently and fry another 5 minutes. If you want, you can add little water or steamed water if it's burning at bottom. It's optional. Flip again and cook until both sides are fried well. Bitter guards will remain same greenish color. Feels undercooked but gets fried well due to initial steaming. Look at the beautiful color. This is really the best way to try differently, unlike fry curry or gravy. Enjoy these stuffed bitter guards with rice and millets. Hope you like my recipe. See you again with many more healthy and tasty options. Thanks for watching.